Hey what is up everybody my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge from the web category it's called baby simple go curl from the line capture the flag competition and line capture the flag competition was live yesterday so but i think the challenge is still uh, available on their site so you can go definitely try this out now it's called baby simple go curl uh, initially i was not able to solve this challenge and still you can see that there are only about 163 163 solves but turns out the solution was really simple and i was thinking too hard which uh was did not turn out to be in my favor so we have the url in here and the source code as well so first let me go through what i initially did now this looks a relatively simple site and you might probably know that what you need to do here so what you need to do here is something called request uh, ssrf so server side request forgery so uh how this website actually works is this was just a guess from my side so uh if you try google.com and if you try any random header and header value what it is essentially uh should do is go fetch the um go fetch the google.com uh site using the curl command using these headers but as you can see it says something went wrong and i have no idea what went wrong so this was my initial hunch so what i did was 127.0.0.1 but i did not know what to look for so this was this is the first problem in here second here secondly uh, for you to exploit server side request forgery it is sometimes necessary or a requirement that you kind of include some extra headers so that uh, the local host or the server itself can know that the that the request is being generated from the server itself and not from any third party website or from the public link so uh what we kind of and do is we introduce some headers 127.0.0.1 but turns out this will also not work and you'll get something went wrong so even if i were to type in flag again you see that something went wrong so So uh what can we do here now so the next the thing that we can do here is uh let's go to documents cdf line sublime of so i have got the um source code downloaded and this is how the source code looks like so looking at the docker file you can see that it exposes port 8080 so this is something that we need to remember so of what i was essentially trying was just this but there is a possibility that the web server port was actually listening on some other uh, sorry the web server was actually listening on some other port so if you do not specify this it will by default go to port 80 but if you were to specify this it will go on port 8080 if you try curl it again says something went wrong so what could go wrong in here so let us just try this in here copy the value and try to curl this it says something went wrong now what if i were to manually introduce the header you'll see that you get the flag right away so my guess here is that it was not actually checking the headers in here so this is one of the reasons why this did not work So this is the first reason how you first way for you to get the flag. Now the second is something really fun and I definitely think you should try it out. Uh it will definitely help you learn a lot. So here is the source code and it just says in the last that if you just try to access the slash flag in here you should get a error message which is you are guessed this is only for host. So by host it means local host. So somehow you have to reach in here and we did reach try to reach um by specifying the request ip which was 127.0.0.1 uh and we did it with the help of uh the x forwarded for header but there is something but then why did they kind of uh get these parameters it doesn't make sense right but it will in a short while so if you see here if you go to this github page 
you'll see that there is something called Jinjonic and you might not think you because this is a very big github uh, repository what you can you make use of is x forwarded and if you see in the commit history you will see that there is something called x forwarded prefix now this is what got me thinking so if you look here you will see that there is a x forwarded prefix get a parameter that is being passed so what if i were to go in here and just remove this part for uh, append it with a slash and x for forwarded prefix and let's just enter slash flag uh, this did not work as expected so what I'm what I think I'm getting is the slash so let's just append one more and you will see that we get the flag right in here so this kind of uh, explains or proves that sometimes it might be necessary for you to dig into some of the github files and the uh, repositories that are being referenced in the actual source code so thank you guys this is it for the video